My wild garlic pesto always seems to go down well, so here are the ingredients and the method. This makes three full, good-sized jam jars worth, or four if you don't fill them quite as full as I sometimes do. So I use 300 grams of wild garlic, 100 grams of Parmesan cheese, 100 grams of pine nuts, lemon juice, either one lemon's worth or the approximate equivalent of lemon juice that's sold in bottles, and finally for the ingredients, 150 to 200 ml of extra virgin olive oil. If you want to make the pesto vegan, you can just miss out the Parmesan cheese and substitute that with about four tablespoons worth of nutritional yeast. If you're making it like this, I would probably add about two teaspoons of salt too. The method I use is really simple by just putting the wild garlic, Parmesan cheese, or the nutritional yeast in the vegan version, pine nuts, the olive oil, and the lemon juice, and salt in the vegan version into a blender or processor and simply blend and process it to the consistency you require. You can then give it a try. I don't feel the need to add anything else. Once it's nicely blended, you can just pour it into jars. And then sometimes I just add a little thin layer of olive oil on the top and that just helps prevent oxidation. So stored that way, it probably would keep for a good couple of months in the fridge.